I'm not sure why, but if you go on Twitter and look for the cybersecurity hashtag, you get the impression that all cybersecurity is about bug bounties. And this cannot be further from the truth. At a first glance, bug bounty is easy money, which is why it's so attractive. Newbies and newcomers to the field get lured into this rabbit hole with the promise of getting rich fast, no certifications, no resumes needed. Once you spend some time doing this as a newbie, you realize it's more frustrating than you think. Bug bounty platforms never tell you from the start that companies that run bug bounty programs first run internal and external pen tests. And all that's left to you as a bug bounty hunter are missed low hanging fruits or critical and very complex vulnerabilities. And if you live in the West with high standards and expensive living, it's very least likely you can make a career out of this unless you're very gifted, which at least 95% of the people, including myself, are not. It's the harsh truth, but I'm not gonna blow sunshine up anyone's bottom here. Now, that being said, bug bounties can be fun. I, for example, spend time on VDPs or private programs when I get bored after finishing my due diligence for my application security projects and pen testing contracts. Now, there is much more to cybersecurity than bug bounties. For example, if we break it by attacking and defending, each of these camps has dozens of jobs and roles for all tastes and flavors of the cybersecurity person. Let's look at a few and then I'll give you a list to do your research further down the road. Starting off with the uh, number one cybersecurity analyst, who would be or who is responsible for analyzing and assessing uh, security threats to an organization's network and implementing appropriate uh, security measures. More specifically, this could be a SOC analyst, uh, thereby working in a security operations center or SOC. And as a SOC analyst, for example, you'd be working with incidents response teams to rapidly identify and remediate cybersecurity attacks. Number two, penetration tester specializes or would specialize in simulating cyber attacks to test an organization's security measures and identify vulnerabilities. You could be specialized in application security and test web applications and mobile applications, or you could also be a red teamer who is highly skilled in infiltrating into networks and pivoting their way across uh, with the ultimate goal of owning the entire network. This is also where I fit in. I'm specialized in application security and now I'm getting training in red teaming. Number three on our list is cloud security analyst or cloud security and or cloud security engineer who is responsible for designing, integrating and testing tools for a company's cloud infrastructure. Here, as a cloud security analyst, you'd be recommending and or implementing cloud configuration improvements from a security standpoint and much, much more than that. You've got a big plus here if you're able to work in a multi-cloud environment such as GCP, Azure, AWS and the rest of them. This role is highly sought after today when a lot of infrastructure is built and maintained in the cloud. Number four, malware analyst and reverse engineer. These guys are responsible for diving deep into cracking. So these guys or gals um, are responsible for diving deep into and cracking malicious software to understand its nature and often to disarm it. Number five, cybersecurity consultant. As a cybersecurity consultant, you'd be responsible for providing expertise or expert advice and guidance to organizations on how to improve their security posture and prevent cyber attacks. Number six, cybersecurity educator. You'd be teaching students and professionals about cybersecurity tactics, best practices and techniques to discover and protect against threats, vulnerabilities and cyber attacks. I'm an educator myself as I teach application security and penetration testing on my YouTube channel here and uh, via my courses. DevSecOps engineer. As a DevSecOps engineer, you are responsible for integrating security into DevOps uh, pipeline or pipelines using a variety of tools and processes. This actually involves overseeing key areas of DevSecOps, such as vulnerability management, security testing, security operations, and application security, just to name a few. You will play a leadership role in ensuring that security is uh, actually seamlessly integrated into the development and operations processes. 
Cybersecurity Architect. This role is responsible for creating overall security plans and policies for an organization, including the implementation of uh, technical controls and risk management strategies. As a CyberSec architect, you'd be reaching this position usually after spending a couple of years in other roles all across cybersecurity. CISO, also known as Information Security Manager. This is similar to the cybersecurity architect, um, and I think you'd be very suited for this role after spending, like the security cybersecurity architect, a significant amount of years in the trenches, learning about all the threats, working to remediate them, um, implementing security countermeasures, and overcoming worst case scenarios of cyber attacks. As a CISO or CISO, you'd be overseeing an organization's overall security strategy and ensuring compliance with industry standards and regulations. A mouthful, I know. Moreover, as a CISO, you'd be having a feel for global markets, legislation, and policy. This being said, the list of jobs and roles uh, could go on and on. In fact, the entire field of cybersecurity with hundreds uh, of roles and job titles is in an unprecedented demand for skilled professionals. And as I said in the beginning of the video, it's often much better to go for a job that actually pays instead of becoming one of the hundreds of thousands of uh, bug bounty hunters work for free. Now I'm going to leave a few resources below so that you can check out other cool jobs and roles you can work yourself up into or in cybersecurity. And I suggest you look at the cybersecurity education website because I think it's very well put up. Now in an upcoming video I'll be talking about salaries for all of these amazing jobs in cybersecurity so stay tuned.